Hello, in this video, I will show you how to import traces using Transaction Analyzer and discuss if it is required to capture traffic on all locations or not. So first of all, I will open an existing uh, project using three tiers. So I, as we can see here, we have a client talking to an application server that is then talking to a DB server. So we have three tiers. If I am looking at the network topology uh, that uh, has been used, I can see here the client that is going through a one to reach the application server. The network is made of one link using 1.5 megabits per second and there is a 2.6 millisecond one-way latency between the client and the application server. And on the back end, I have a LAN with a 100 megabits per second uh, speed and there is no latency because they are uh, co-located. So this is the topology used. If I am looking about the traces uh, that have been used to uh, create this project, I can go to the menu file and trace file info. And I can see that I have used three traces. One captured on the client, on the application server, and on the database server. Now, let's try to recreate this project from scratch. And first, I will only use the traces taken on the client. Since I am using a single trace, I can use this menu because I have only one. We will use the other menu when trying to import two or more traces. So I am starting with a trace from the client. Now, if I'm going to the to the data exchange chart, I have only two tiers, the client, and I can rename here the IP address to use application server. I do not see the traffic to the database, uh, and this is normal because I am only looking at the traffic uh, sent and received by the client, or and this one is not talking directly to the application server. So I have only two tiers. I can look at the topology. Here, it is telling me I am using one gig and three to the two milliseconds. As you probably know, Transaction Analyzer is trying to find the one-way latency, looking at the packets, but it will never be able to give you uh, the minimum bandwidth between the client and the server. So here, what I need to do is to update uh, the tier location. I can put here site 2 and here site 1 just to rename them, and then I can change here the bandwidth between the two sites to use 1.5 megabits per second because it is the one that has been used in the project I have used before. And we can see that the one-way latency has been updated now because I have changed the minimum bandwidth. So I am using the right network settings now, and I can generate App Doctor results. I have only two tiers, and most of the delay is spent on the application server. This is something we can easily see if we are clicking on show dependencies, because we can see here this uh, big white triangle that are related to application delay, meaning that here the server received a request from the client, and then it is processing them before starting to answer. Now, Maybe that the application server is talking to another tier, 
and it is the case here. But since I am not capturing the, the traffic, all the delay will be uh, flagged for the application server. Now I will try to import two traces from the client and the application server. So I need to use the other menu now, simultaneous captures. And I am selecting the client and the application server traces. I have a new chair now. Why? Because since I am also importing the traffic for the application server, this one is able to see the traffic sent received by the client, but also the traffic sent received to the application to the database server. Sorry. I will rename it the chair to be called database server. And if I am coming back here, we can see again the three tiers. And if I am clicking on show dependencies, remember the last time I had a single big white triangle at the application server, but now I can see this is not so true. Because, okay, I have something here, but I can see the communication with a back, with a back end. Then it is also uh, processing uh, the answer from the database before starting to answer to the client. So in that case, I have the full picture. If I want to generate the app doctor results, I first need, again, to look at the, uh, network, um, the network topology and do the, the, same, the same changes I did before. So between site 1 and site 2, I have 105 megabits per second. For the local bandwidth here, I can let it as a LAN, instead of trying to uh, uh, specify that uh, the database is remote versus the server. They are on the, on the same LAN. In that case, the network topology is the local bandwidth with one, one gig for the uh, bandwidth, and almost zero latency. And now I can try again to generate the uh, summary of delays. Here I can see I am spending most of my time at the application server, but less time than before, because now I am also including the database uh, application delays that are always shown uh, in yellow for uh, processing delays. So this is better now. I have a full picture. And I can try to also import the three traces to see if it makes any difference. So now I am selecting all of them. Here I do not have anything to rename, that's fine. I can go back to the dat data exam chart. I do not see so much difference here when comparing to uh, the second example when I have used two traces. Again, I need to check the network topology. So here we have a client talking to application server but the bandwidth is not correct, so I need to change to 1.5. Ah, in fact, now the client is located on site 3, so I rather need to set 1.5 here, and here I can put again 100 megabits per second. And I can uh, run App Doctor again. And now, what we can try to do is to compare App Doctor results for the three uh, projects I have used. So this is the first one. Sorry, this is the first one because I do not see the database server. This is the second one. Here we can see that 
the delay from the database server is present and it is included in this uh, abductor because I do not have a database server uh, there. And if I am trying now, and it is the most interesting part, trying to compare this abductor with the last one, when I have imported uh, the three traces, as you can see, there is not so much difference here when I am comparing both of them. And this can ex be explained because between the application server and the database server, I am on the same LAN. So usually that means that there is not so much latency and there is almost no packet being lost. So in that case, if I am thinking or saying that the, the network is fine between both servers, it is good enough to capture only on the application server because it will be able to correctly find when packets are arriving and leaving the database server. It is not true if I know that I have some problems on the network. For example, there is another one between the application server and the database server. In that case, it would have been better to also import the trace from the database server. Okay, and let's say I have only one trace I can use. Which one, which one should be used for this uh, transaction? The best one will be the one from the application server because this is the only one where I will see the traffic with a client talking to the application server, but also the application server talking to the database server. If I can use two traces, uh, I would use the one from the application server and the one from the client because there is a one in between and I can have some network problems there. Do I really need to use three traces and include the one from the database server? Where, in this example, and most of the time, not really, because the application server and the database server are on the same LAN, and usually there is no network issues, and transaction analyzer is smart enough to correctly uh, find when traffic will be received and sent for the database server. So sometimes people are asking us, uh, do you have a, an agent to capture on a mainframe? And the answer is no. But is it really required? Not really, because most of the time uh, there is a database server talking to the mainframe, so you can capture on the database server and it should be good enough. So this concludes this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you and bye-bye.